I'm Neil Orpen. I'm a consultant spinal surgeon working at the BMI, the Ridgeway Hospital. My main interest um, is minimally invasive spinal surgery um, and disc replacement surgery, but my expertise extends throughout the whole spine, uh, where I see a number of conditions ranging everything from the head right down to the lower part of the lumbar spine and coccyx. So from our point of view of how we can provide a service at the Ridgeway, we tend to be able to see patients right from the beginning all the way through the whole journey to the end. We are able to provide a service where you can see a consultant yourself and the same consultant the whole way through the journey, guiding you through everything, which is sometimes something patients have been lacking leading up to seeing us. We are able to provide all the imaging that they need and all the treatments, whether they're small or larger treatments, all through the Ridgeway Hospital. And then the post-operative recovery and the rehab, if patients prefer to do it with us, we can provide that too, all the way from physiotherapy to hydrotherapy to long-term management of painful conditions. And also, fortunately, being able to allow patients to see other specialties who may um, be able to provide different treatments to other parts of the body if that were necessary. It's not terribly uncommon for me to see patients with spinal conditions, which clearly need to be treated, but during the workup of that to realize that a significant amount of their pain may come from an arthritic hip and an arthritic knee. And at the Ridgeway, we're able to provide those services with experts in those fields as well. By far the most common thing we see is the very simple presentation of sciatica and back pain. And so a lot of those pain conditions present with a lot, a lot of uh, discomfort to yourself as a patient, but also a lot of anxiety as to what really is going on. And it's up to us to work that out, conclude the exact cause of it, and try and get a feeling for whether that's going to settle on its own without inter interventions. Even the very simple conditions, though, we can often do things that will shorten the duration of pain and the intensity of pain to make it more tolerable to put up with the symptoms until they settle on their own. And the vast majority of people don't need surgery. So in our experience, only about 10% of people that present to us end up having surgical interventions. Um, but we are able to do a lot of other things that will help pain other than surgery. By far the most common suggestion of treatment that I'll make is for patients to see physiotherapists, take painkillers, and rest. And that is a very reasonable solution for a large number of conditions that pre present with probably excruciating extreme pain. Um, but when we do come to interventions for pain that hasn't settled, we often provide steroid-based injections. Um, steroids are anti-inflammatories and very often can help with settling pain a little bit more rapidly shortening the episode of pain and making things tolerable. And therefore, we are able to offer those at very short notice without terrible waits um, to get on top of symptoms quickly. Um, but when we look at more interventional things and surgical solutions, um, many of the things that we do are more simple. Um, the vast majority of patients don't require very complex, expensive procedures. Um, Taking pressure off nerves that are causing pain is a relatively simple keyhole type procedure. And although I have an interest in minimally invasive fusion surgery, which is a little bit more complex, with the techniques that we use nowadays, again, those are also still short hospital stays and relatively quick to get over. Well, the, over the last 50, 20, and even the last 10 years, the steps we've made in spinal surgery have um, are almost unrecognizable to what surgery used to be um, 50 years ago. Don't forget the advances such as MRI scanning, which uh, even 30 years ago were difficult to come by, are now an absolute routine where we can almost provide MRI scanning to patients within a day of presentation. So MRI scanning's helped us understand the spine, but also we can understand the spine better with even more modern technologies such as CT spec scanning and functional scanning of how the body works. In terms of the advances in surgical provision, how we do surgery is improved, our techniques have improved, and we are able to do many more of the procedures we traditionally did with very large open surgical um, interventions, we now can do through keyholes. Um, and then we've been at the Ridgeway able to acquire navigation surgery, which we've had experience with now for the last seven years. And that's become a very routine part of our practice. And navigation surgery has made the fusion procedures we perform much safer, 
much easier to get absolutely accurate. All these steps we're taking are towards making that surgical intervention which we read about in history books as being a very big deal to patients, to now becoming a much lesser intervention and much smaller insult to the system and therefore much more tolerable to a larger range of patients. It's very rewarding to see patients report a difference to their lives and I think we forget often how disabling painful conditions can be. We assume those disabilities that we can see are the ones that are most troublesome, but, but pain has a huge bearing on your ability to function day to day, your need for quite strong medication which has disabling side effects, and the effect of your pain on your personal life, your social life, and your work environment is often very difficult to realize, and patients will report that to us. And seeing that improve and seeing patients get benefit from surgery or interventions that take away those disabilities is a very rewarding thing.